hi what is up youtube thank you for tuning in so last time we upgraded this creality ender 3 with this 7 inch touchscreen display and today i'm going over how to update the firmware which is a straightforward process so you're just gonna need an sd card so you're gonna use that to uh copy the firmware over to the screen so you can perform the update so without further ado let's get started all right so your next step is to go over to the big tree tech github and then you're gonna go to the big tree tech touchscreen firmware select that and then here you have all the files but you're gonna go on top to code and go ahead and download the zip all right so next you're gonna go ahead and unzip the file if you haven't yet you're gonna go ahead and download visual studio code launch it and go ahead and uh, again if you haven't install the extension called platform io you search it from the extensions right here and then you download it and install it and then you're gonna head to open a folder and go to the big tree tech file you just unzipped so you want the folder right before the, the main one so you're gonna select it and open it you wanna modify the code you go back right here and then you expand TFT and then user and then you have your configuration.h right here so this is the place that you can go ahead and tweak change you can play around with all of this Now when you are done putting in your settings, head to platform IO and then select the right screen you want to build it to. I'm using the 7 inch screen so I'm going to select that and it's going to unfold and you're going to see a build button and then you're going to click that and it's going to process it. Alright, so as you can see here, we have a success message. Now we can go ahead and proceed with the update. Connect your SD card to your computer. And then you're gonna go to the folder. Open the folder, copy to SD card root directory to update. And then you're gonna need three files for the update so you need the themes so I'm gonna go with a unified menu and you're gonna pick the right folder for your screen size and you're gonna copy it over to the SD card and next step you're gonna go to the bin file you're gonna copy the bin file same thing it's gonna be the 70 version for the right screen size copy the over all right and next step you're gonna copy the config.ini file over to the SD card so these are the three files you need for the updates if you like you can go to uh, this folder and open the folder BMP and you can see the icons if you like you can modify these icons before uh, doing the, the update I'm going to change the logo right here and uh, this one right here the big tree tech.bmp file I'm gonna change those two so I have it already modified in here so I want this picture right here to be displayed 
uh, instead of the one right here so I'm gonna copy this over and I'm gonna override it alright then refresh and you can see that now instead of the old picture I have my own custom picture uh, into the uh, firmware icons alright so the last one is this one the logo this is gonna be displayed when you put up the, the printer so I'm going to edit that also go to desktop this is what I want to be displayed so I'm gonna edit that in Photoshop I'm gonna put it right here and I'm gonna scale it like this so you want to keep the image in a fairly low quality you don't want it to be too uh, heavy alright so this looks good export it I don't have BMP here save as and then you can save as BMP as you can see here and then it has to have the same name as the original picture logo it has to have the same name logo and then gonna hit save so I have it in the Windows format 32 bit and hit OK so the picture is saved on the desktop and I have it right here so I can go ahead and slide this over and override great so now I have this picture as my boot screen picture and this as my B3 tech uh, selection picture so now I can go ahead and eject that connect it to the printer and then you can proceed with the update then you're gonna turn off the printer and then you're gonna go ahead and insert the SD card like this and then you're gonna turn on the printer and as you can see it is scanning the SD card for update is done and as you saw it used the custom image I used for the boot up screen so let's go quickly to the menu settings and info and as you can see now we have the firmware updated to v3.0.26.x so that's great now let's check selection icon yep as you can see here just choose the touch screen option now you have my custom picture right here you can switch to Marlin like this or all right so that was it on how to update the firmware on the TFT 70 from big tree tech if you found this video helpful, make sure to drop the like, subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and I will see you on my next video.